dear students good morning to all of you so now in our uh, today session we going to design our uh, project that is a uh, light based object counter okay and uh, using seven segment uh, display so here this one is our uh, screen and uh, first of all we save the screen by the name of the project okay so the name of the project is our light based Light based object counter object counter using seven segment okay. the name of the project is this one. So in order to perform this experiment, we first have a requirement of breadboard. Okay, this one is our breadboard, and uh, by using drag and drop, we place the breadboard here. Okay, and uh, after that, the second one uh, requirement is our uh, say as in our project we are using the four bit counter. Right, bit four bit counter we are using. That four-bit counter, uh, uh, the IC number is our seven four nine three, right? Seven four nine three object counter we are using. So place this seven four nine three object counter on the backboard like this. Okay, so here this is our four-bit binary counter. Four-bit binary counter uh, we are uh, using. That is IC number seven four nine three. Okay, and uh, after that the IC we are using for the uh, seven segment. That is our C D four five double one. So this one is what this one. Uh, this IC uh, name is seven segment decoder. So through this IC, we give the output to the seven segment display. Right, buddy? So the IC number is our C D four five double one. Okay. So although if we perform that experiment on the hardware, the IC we are using is C D. 4026 cd4026 ic we are using if you perform that experiment on the hardware keep this thing in your mind okay so after that now the next requirement is our power supply okay so when we type in the search bar power supply so power supply we put the power supply here right and uh, after that the positive the negative terminal of this power supply now we connect it to the negative layer of the horizontal source okay this one is the negative layer for the negative layer uh, i use the black color wire and uh, the positive layer we connect it to the positive layer of the horizontal source right and uh, give the color to the wire red so as we are using the upper layer and the lower layer of the horizontal source source so that's why we make the we take the wire and uh, we short it both the upper and the lower section of the backboard like this okay and uh, giving the color to the wire black and uh, here this one is the positive terminal of the horizontal source source we connect it to the positive layer and giving the color to the wire red like this okay so uh, after that after making this connection now the next is what uh, we now connect these ic's so how we make the connection uh, how we connect these ic's so as uh, we already discussed that this one part is our clock one right so the clock one of this uh, ic is connected it to the output bit zero Output bit zero is at pin number third. Make the connection like this, okay? And uh, after that, now the second number pin is uh, our reset. Third number pin is our reset. So as per the discussion, the second number pin now we connect it to the uh, negative potential that is at ground. Okay? So make the connection like this, and giving the color to the wire black for the uh, negative connection or ground connection. Okay, like this, and uh, after that, so here 
the pin number 4 is not connected to anything right pin number 5 pin number 5 is for the power supply so for the power supply we now take the wire and connect it to the power supply this one and uh, giving the color to the wire red okay this one and uh, here this one is pin number 6 is not connected to anything pin number 7 is not connected to anything pin number 9 pin number 9 is for the output bit uh, let me tell you that how we connect it uh, with output bit where, where we connect the output bit 1 and output bit 2 so now this one is our ground pin then number pin is for the ground so for the ground connection we connect it to the ground and uh, giving the color to the wire black okay and uh, after that this is our output bit 3 this is our uh, output bit uh, 0 this is not connected to anything this one is our slot 0 okay so here uh, let me tell you that uh, here these are the uh, left side portion of the IC that uh, we already make the connection okay so here the uh, right side portion of the IC the output bit uh, 2 output bit 1 output ground output bit 3 and output bit 0 so from where we connect it so as i already telling you that the output of this the output of this ic we connect it to the input of this ic okay so here this these are the input of the lines these are the input of our uh, seven segment uh, decoder these are the input of our seven segment decoder so in order to make the connection what we do so we take this one is our output bit zero this one is our output bit zero so we make uh, we take the wire from output bit zero and connect it with the output bit one that's what it is output bit one so keep this thing in your mind when you connect the uh, output bit zero you have to make the connection output bit zero with the input one okay output bit three you have to connect with input four input four of this ic okay output bit second connected with the input third okay yes buddy now is this thing clear to you how we make the connection so now let me take the wire this is our output bit 0 output bit 0 we take the wire and uh, connect it with the we take the wire and connect it with the uh, this one is our input line 1 okay this one is our input line 1 so that's why we take the wire and connect it over here and uh, for this we use the orange color for making this correction output bit 0 is connected it to the input line 1 right bit now is this thing clear to you did you make the connection up to the point So now after that this is our uh, output bit 0 now make the connection for, for output bit 1 so that output bit 1 now we connect uh, output bit uh, 1 to the output bit that means the output bit that thing we are having uh, connected to the uh, uh, input third so input third this one output bit stacking is connected it to the this one input third this one is your input third okay and you can use a different color wire for yellow color wire you are using for the output bit one 
So now output with second. Output with second, we have to connect with the uh, input third. Output with second. Output with second is uh, connected with the input with third. This one. Okay. So take the wire from this one. And uh, now it is connected with the input line power and uh, after that you can uh, give the color to the wires for green okay output with second you have to connect with input line first okay so now we, uh, what we have remaining we have remaining output with uh, third output with third you have to connect with the output with third output with third you have to connect it with this one output with four this is our output with four this is our input with input four output with the listen please output with third you have to connect it with the input port of the 7 in the coder okay and for this you can use a different color wire that is your uh, transistance blue color wire you can use okay and uh, after that anything remaining input with 1 uh, output with second output with 1 ground is connected output with third is connected output with zero is connected okay so now the output connection to the input of seven segment decoder now done just for a video make the connection like this did you make the connection like this Now we uh, connect the seven segment display. Okay, so how we connect the seven segment display? So first of all, search in the search bar for the seven segment display. Okay. There, this one is our seven segment display. I put it over here. Okay. So when I click on the seven segment display, so after clicking on the seven segment display. There is a uh, option we get the common anode. Okay, so click on this, and you will find you have to common cathode. You have to do the common cathode, right? Okay. So after that, now we take the resistance. After that, we take the resistance. So when I take the resistance, and here this one is our common, right? Okay. This one is our common. And uh, we take the value of the resistance is 220 ohm. This one is our common. This one is our common terminal on which we connect the resistance, and that resistance we connect it to the ground. That resistance, that common part, that common part we connect it to the resistance. Okay. So now, how we make the connection? So first of all, we take in the uh, seven segment display, we are having various terminals. So here, you see that G, F, common, A, D, okay? This DP is not connected to anything. C, common, common, uh, we already done, the common part, and D, and E. So here, this one is the uh, portion of the IC on which we are having the terminals from uh, A to A to F. Okay. So we make the connection one by one means we connect the terminal A of this to the terminal A of the seven segment display. Right. So now here this one is our A. That A we now connect it to the this A. 
we now connect it to the A terminal. So the A terminal is this one. Okay. A is this. We make the connection like this. Okay. And uh, give the color to the wire for the A. You can use the red color wire for, for connecting the A. Okay. And after that, this is our B. This B. We now connect it with the B. So where is B? Where is B? This one is B. So let's take the wire. And uh, after that, connect that wire to the terminal B of the LED of the seven segment display and uh, now giving the color to the wire for image. Okay. So after that, A is connected, B is connected, now C. So now we take the wire and connect that C to the terminal. Where is C? Where is C? This one is C. Okay. So now connect that wire of the C. With the, the screen, this one is our C. So connect that wire to the C, and for the C, you can use the green color wire for uh, making the connection of C. Okay. So after that, this is our D. So that D, we now connect it with the, the D. So the D portion, D terminal of this. Uh, seven segment display is available on the this side. This one is already right. So now you can use the color like this. Okay. And uh, after that, this one is our E. The E is available on this side. So here now we take the wire okay like this and uh, after that connect the E on to the C terminal and giving the color to the wire circle okay. Now we are having the remaining terminal E, our uh, G and F. Okay, so the G is available on this side and F is available on this side. So here, the F terminal. Now we take the wire from F. Okay, from the F. Give me a second. This one is our F. It is the wire of F. And uh, now connect it with the this one is our F. Right. So now we use the color for the F pink. Okay. And this one is our G. So this G, we now connect it with the G, this one. Okay. And giving the color to the wire brown. Right. So now, today, all the inputs now connected.